Hey, good morning. It's Dr. Katz from Lori Katz MTPC, and I wanted to talk to you about endometrial biopsies. So what the heck is an endometrial biopsy, right? So an endometrial biopsy is an in-office procedure where I put a tiny little tube. See it right here? This is called an endocell pipette. I put this in through the cervix into the uterus for a few passes to get an actual cell sample of the endometrial lining. The exact procedure goes like this. So first of all, we've already established that the patient indeed needs an endometrial biopsy because she's having some abnormal uterine bleeding or postmenopausal bleeding, but does not have any evidence of polyps or intercarotary fibroids on a sonohistogram. histogram. We've also made sure that the patient is not pregnant. That means either she has been abstinent from intercourse for at least two weeks and gotten a negative pregnancy test, and or we know she's in documented menopause. Okay. When the patient comes into the office, after all these things have been assured, then patient lays down as if you're getting a routine pap smear with feet and stirrups. We put a regular size speculum in there, and we go ahead and maybe or maybe not depending on the patient, numb the cervix with some topical lidocaine or a pair of cervical block. Then we go ahead and insert the instrument, just like I was telling you, the endometrial pipel, in through the cervix into the uterus to get our tissue passes. Now sometimes we need to add an instrument called a tenaculum to apply directly to the cervix, it has these little pinchers like this, and we put some traction on it just to kind of straighten out the uterus to ease our path. We don't do that for everybody, but sometimes. In the procedure, you feel cramping because I'm pretty certain you're not used to having any kind of instruments up inside your uterus with any regularity. So your uterus recognizes that as foreign, so it starts making the chemicals to make you have some cramps. We like to think ahead about this possible complication, and we usually prescribe Toradol or another anti-inflammatory for you to take at least an hour before so that that medication is already in your system and waiting so it can disassemble those cramp chemicals before they're even made in the first place. It's not 100%, but it does help, that and the numbing. Now, after we do this then, we have the patient lay there for several minutes to make sure they're feeling okay because sometimes after you have this procedure and those cramps, it can make you feel kind of queasy. Some people get lightheaded just because of the nerves that are stimulated in that cervix area. Once we make sure that the patient is feeling okay and that there's no bleeding from that instrument site, and if there is, we put a little bit of cauterizing medicine on there. Then the patient gets to go home. We make sure that every patient has a pad because of course you might have some discharge after this procedure. And then as soon as we get those results back, we call you and we go for it and we make a plan. Hope this clears things up about endometrial biopsy. Have a great day.